Okay, Project Cache started in February 2020. It was a spin-off investigation of a project in 2019, dubbed Project Discard. Both of these projects focused on the production and distribution of crystal methamphetamine. Uh, as a result of the investigation in 2020, over the past two and a half months, as a sophisticated network of individuals was identified operating in the greater Toronto area, uh, to the west as far as uh, Waterloo and uh, to the north uh, as far as Innisfil. Um, this group of individuals was involved in the distribution of not only crystal methamphetamine, but also cocaine and illicit, illicit cannabis. The investigation revealed that they were involved in the production of a, uh, illicit cannabis uh, through an illegal marijuana grow operation. And it's our belief that the production of cannabis in these uh, illegal circumstances was actually funding the network in terms of the distribution of methamphetamine. Uh, ultimately, the investigation uh, came to a conclusion with a number of search warrants being executed across the greater Toronto area. Search warrants were executed at 12 residences, seven vehicles, and in total, the investigation recovered 10 kilograms of crystal methamphetamine, over 600 pounds of illicit cannabis, and a significant quantity of cocaine, and approximately $450,000 in uh, proceeds of crime, uh, cash currency. So in total, we've uh, arrested and charged 22 individuals facing a combined 93 criminal charges. And of note, two of the individuals uh, were at large on bail already, facing uh, very serious drug charges at the time. It's alleged that they've now committed these offenses and violated their bail. So in one particular search warrant that was executed in the city of Kitchener, uh, a marijuana dispensary was located in the basement of that residence. It was a what we would describe as a completely illicit and illegal cannabis dispensary location, uh, basically operating as a variety store with uh, the basement separated into areas of packaging, production, uh, intake orders, and um, a, large, a large volume of drugs were seized from that location. We know that this poses safety risks to, to the community, particularly in a residential area, um, much uh, like other illegal commodities that are being sold in you know, these, these places are subject to be targeted for robberies and other crimes, so um, it's very alarming to have that based in a, based in a home in a, in a neighborhood. Uh, this investigation really couldn't have come to uh, fruition or been successful without the partnerships and leveraging those partnerships between, in particular, the Ontario Provincial Police with the uh, Methamphetamine Task Force, the Waterloo Regional Police and the Toronto Police Service. Collectively, we know that uh, crime doesn't uh, remain in one jurisdiction and transcends borders on a daily basis and it's these partnerships and collaboration together which uh, ultimately lead to uh, successful operations such as this.